Hey, what's up guys? This is Ron K. Armstrong, filmmaker extraordinaire. In this video, I want to talk about the truth about working in the film industry. But before I do that, I want you to hit the like button on this video. If this is your first time to my channel, welcome. Hit the subscribe button to get notifications on when I go live and when I upload recorded videos. So the truth about working in the film industry. I see a lot of filmmakers posting, um, you know, information about their, their film that they've made or how they have a screenplay done and they have dreams and aspirations of getting into the industry and working and expressing their creativity and seeing their finished product on screen. Well, let me just um, shed some light on what it's really like to work in the industry, okay? The the first thing is you've got to survive. You've got to make money, okay? And I'm not going to go through the whole like ins and outs of things, but I'm just going to give you an overarching view of what you could expect. Because you're you're trying to survive and, and make money, you may have to do things that you didn't anticipate. Like you may be um, a writer for hire, writing things that you don't necessarily like. You may want to do feature films and end up doing commercials. You may want to do uh, commercials but end up doing little industrial shorts. You know, it's, it's a lot of different things where you can take these detours and things may not work out right. The one thing I want to tell you is that you always want to make sure you have income coming in to support you. And if you can have income coming in from working industry in the industry, that's the ideal situation. But let me tell you this. The industry behind the scenes, it's full of a lot of politics, um, a lot of disappointment, a lot of letdowns. And only a small select few get to a point where they have total artistic creative control to do what they want. And as I said, it's very, very few. An example of what you can expect is probably what I went through this week. A very tough week. Um, we're producing a commercial. And um, it was like arguments with the producer. The producer's upset because um, he doesn't have the budget he wants. Um, I'm down one creative director. I had to go and hire somebody and figure out how we can pay this person because they were very senior and they were very good. We saw their work. The client's not happy um, with what we're shooting. They think we're not shooting according to script. The uh, animation house is not really producing good storyboards. And we and then um, we're, I'm actually producing actually two commercials. And then on the other side of that, there's another commercial that we're trying to work on. And we're fighting to get rights to show certain property. The client there didn't like our first round of um, concepts. So everyone's nervous going in to pitch the next round of concepts. So as you see, it's like you're dealing with different people, different personalities. You're different, dealing with a lot of unknowns. There's always not enough budget for what you want. And that becomes a problem because you have to learn how to do a lot with just a little bit of money. And a lot of times we try to um, really express to the client that this vision is worth spending this amount of money. And of course, they may see things differently. So you come back and that causes a amount of stress. One point in the week was we had a production meeting and you know, the crew was upset that they feel that I have these production meetings during uh, the day at, at, at midday, 12, and I never buy them lunch. So I had to learn and start getting them lunch, you know, and I wasn't used to that. So these are just things that you're encountering that you have to be aware of that, you know, stay the course, you know, still have your vision in mind, but understand that there are politics, there are, there, there are personalities that you're dealing with. I did a pitch session with a producer who basically was rude and shot down my concept. He talked about all the things that I did wrong in the pitch, but he agreed that the concept is good. It's just that the, the execution and the way I pitched it was wrong. And I disagree with him, but you know, hey, you know, I, I tried to hear everybody out. So you're gonna be dealing with these things. It's all kinds of things that are going to arise. I'm working on two commercials, yet trying to connect with producers to pitch my own project, and I'm trying to juggle the time. How can I make all of this happen? And I'm exhausted because you're spending anywhere from 10 to 11 hour days working. So eventually, you know, you have to say, well, I've got to pay the bills, but I'm, 
I'm killing myself from someone else's vision and I want to make my vision happen. How do I do that? Well, unless you're going to go out there and try to find investors or pitch to Hollywood producers, it's very difficult for you to fund your own projects. Um, maybe you'll do another project, someone else's project, and get a boatload of money from that that you can save up and start to pool that into your own project. So listen, this may sound a bit convoluted, but what I'm trying to say to you is this. When you see things like so-and-so, Tyler Perry or whatever, just has, they have their own studio and it's, it's making news in all the trades. Or J.J. Um, Abrams is now going to do the next Star Wars and he's going to have free creative control. And I want you to understand that these things are great to have the dream and aspiration to go after and to be like them. But, in, but those are very, very few group, handful of people that have that type of clout power. And hopefully that'll be you one day, you know? Don't stop trying to go for that, but understand in the interim, you're going to have to deal with the politics, the disappointment, the rejection, until you can get there. Stay the course, like I said, have a thick skin, but realize that part of this journey and part of this process is you've got to enjoy it. You've got to pay the bills. So um, if you're working on writing screenplays for industrials or, you know, whatever, enjoy that while you're doing it. Hone your craft um, and understand that that's part of the journey. Don't get disappointed. Because what happens is I think that the industry and the books you read and you go to film school, they paint these pictures of the most ideal scenarios and situations but the reality is a far cry from that. It's so different. It's a big departure from that because most people are working, trying to get there. And you could spend 20, 30 years struggling and then the, on the 30th year, make it. But you have to ask yourself, do you have the stamina to give it that much time and to stay in the game? Um, so those are just some of my, um, words of wisdom, you know, because, you know, this week was one of the, mo the most difficult weeks I've ever had and just trying to make the productions work, you know, you, Hey, um, I didn't know I was going to be working on two commercials at the same time. It just happened. The schedules worked that way. So it hit me. It's a challenge. I have to deal with it. I'm like, tired, taking naps in my car, um, not eating enough, and uh, not, not enjoying myself in terms of taking time for myself. But, you know, my, my mother used to say, well, this is what you signed up for, you know. So you have to really enjoy this. You know, you have to enjoy this or it's not going to work for you. And understand that initially things may not unfold the way you want them to, but don't allow that to be a sign of how things will eventually end up. Just understand that your destination may take some time. That is all I can say. This is Ron K. Armstrong, filmmaker extraordinaire. Till the next video, keep making films.